I'm Jessica Hicklin, I'm CTO and co-founder of Unlock Labs. Unlock Labs is building education technology to make uh, corrections evidence-based and data-driven. Uh, how we do that is specifically we train justice and active technologists to leverage the lived experience, and then we employ them designing and building this open source education infrastructure. I went to prison at 16 on life without parole sentence, and I spent 26 years. And during my 26 years of incarceration, I had no access to formal education experience whatsoever. As the walls changed and I was facing an opportunity of coming home, I had, to, I had to face the real fear that I was going to return to society without any educational experience, no reason to be hired, no ability to join the workforce. But because of learning equality, I had a job on the inside, I had a little bit of privilege. I was able to, to take the tools that I was given access to, learn the foundational knowledge I needed to build the organization that I run today. So long before I ever met the wonderful folks at Learning Equality, they were changing my life. When we approached the space that we're working in, at first we understood it was an access issue. There's no education infrastructure in prisons, so there's no real education occurring. As we dug just a little deeper into the problem, we figured out, though, there's a data problem. Not only are we not educating folks, we're not tracking what education we're doing. In the United States, three out of five incarcerated adults are functionally illiterate. Seven out of ten do not have a high school diploma, and less than six percent have access to high, higher education. Unsurprisingly, 83 percent of people who are released from prison will be rearrested within 10 years. We can't improve on that because we have no evidence-based practices with corrections. We're just guessing. But by working with learning equality, we are actively and currently deploying Calibri in multiple prisons throughout the United States because it gives corrections officials an opportunity to provide the programming that they want to provide while collecting that data, while moving corrections back to an evidence-based practices field. Hopefully the foundation now that we have equity in education, and not only in our space, but in the entire world.